He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I want to hip you to the team. It's Gary, baby. Gary, good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news. Ricky, they're saying that maybe a divorce may be on the horizon, honey. It might be a subliminal message going on with the wonderful Russell Wilson and his beautiful wife, Sierra. Now, they're saying, y'all, if quarterback Russell Wilson, honey, loves the Broncos, they are saying, honey, that he'll give back some of that $245 million contract extension. And a lot of people saying Sierra may be stepping in on this one. Now, they're saying that the joke's on the Broncos. They say Russell Wilson got paid, y'all, with a no-money-back guarantee. They say if paid what he's worth, they're saying Wilson might not be able to afford a ticket on the first bus out of Denver, honey, rather than live in a $25 million mansion with him and his beautiful wife, Sierra, that only has 12 bathrooms Ooh. and a quarterback who's thrown eight touchdown passes for the Broncos. Now, they're saying winning is a habit and losing can also be one, too. Now, they're saying, honey, people mm. sick of Russell Wilson, honey, he ain't doing right. And some people saying maybe it's his wife, Sierra, honey, that's doing <laughs> oh, things with him before, Lord, honey, Gary. go to work, honey. <laughs> And they're saying since moving to Colorado, baby, they said Mr. Wilson has had been a bad quarterback. And they said on Sunday, honey, he couldn't even enter a red zone, much less sniff the end zone, honey, against Baltimore. And now that's where Sierra came in there. So they say, honey, he said, quote, I've never really lost so many games like this, honey, Mr. Wilson said. He said it's a new feeling, honey, one I don't like and one I don't want to ever experience again. Now, um, the people are saying, yeah, right, honey, but that's between you and your wife, honey, but things definitely need to change, honey. And people said, you know, that um, he said if he really um, was all about winning um, another Super Bowl ring, honey, he'll find that same generosity, listen to this, in his heart, baby, to restructure and give some of that $245 million in his contract extension Ooh. back so General Manager George Patton, honey, can begin patching a Broncos roster that's full of holes. Now, why would he give any, any money back? I, that don't make no sense. Ricky, you think you should give some of that money back? Hell no. Oh, no. no that's it's the right. That's part of the guarantee, didn't it, Rock T? Yeah, man. He earned that money. He earned Come it now. now. Come on yeah. now. Now, he having an off season. He's but, he got, but he got to win, though. Yeah, he, he got nah. to win, but you just can't take that money out of his pocket. He earned that. He, and he can't win by himself either. He, you know. That's what I was going to ask. Is it him or is there like receiver, defensive line issue? Like, is it a whole team issue I mean, or mainly at the him? end of the day, your quarterback is the most important position on the team. So when you win, he going to get the credit. When you lose, you're going to get the blame for it. So it is what it is. They three and nine on the season. So he ain't going to always have a great game. Like people but here's, be the, th- here's the deal, though. Denver last year was they've been a solid team for the last couple of years. They just didn't have a solid quarterback. So now they right. went and got Russell Wilson, who was supposed to be the savior to get him back back to the Super Bowl, so that didn't happen. You, yeah, you well, sure that's not Russell Westbrook? <laughs> <laughs> no, that is Russell Wilson. Honey. Well, honey, I, there. I feel it's bad. Not basketball. Honey. I feel so bad for the team, honey. But nevertheless, we're gonna see. He what just he's gotta doing. get in his groove. He gonna he gonna pull. Well, he need to do something. Our Sierra need to go make some new songs, honey, and help nope. with the uh, money. Well, she she got to do new with songs, it. But she she his wife, to do honey. With it, she got a lot to do with, honey. She probably dealing with him before he go to the game. She's supposed to just be a good wife before he go to the game and sit home and let him meditate. How you know she don't do that? Because he losing. But anyway, moving on. In other celebrity news, y'all, T.J. Holmes, honey. Oh, Mr. T.J. Holmes, baby. They said that meant... Messy cheating history have definitely been revealed. Now, we talked about it last week, y'all, but Good Morning America's fans were stunned, honey, after they revealed that Mary Cole's T.J. Holmes and Miss Amy Ro- Robach, honey, were having an affair. Well, oh. they were saying this definitely wasn't T.J.'s first doggone uh, romance rodeo. Now, they were saying Mr. Holmes had a three-year affair with one of the uh, morning shows Mary producers, a oh. woman who, honey, counted his current lover, Miss Amy Robach, as one of her close friends. If y'all seen the picture this week of him, that Amy... And that other woman that TJ was cheating with allegedly were good friends. She didn't tell Amy, what? oh, oh, TJ is wonderful. He's this and that. So Miss Amy said, well, hell, let me find out let then. Me try. <laughs> let me try. And, honey, she decided, honey, to go ahead and start messing hell with this no. doggone man, honey. Now, they're saying that the relationship God. which um, predates, honey, his affair with Robert caused the end, honey, of the former GMA producer, Miss Natasha, seeing, honey, um, marriage to music, a movie producer, Gary Brarin, whose credit includes y'all Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. 
Morgan. Now they're saying that yeah, the host managed to savage on his own union with his beautiful wife, poor Miss Mary Lee, honey. I feel so bad for her. They say, but nevertheless, honey, according to one well played source, they say Natasha Baby was a producer for GMA based in Los Angeles when she and TJ, honey, he was a reporter, began, honey, their affair. Now they're saying Miss Sing 37, honey, was the producer when Holmes traveled to Los Angeles to interview Jimmy Kimmel ahead of the Oscars in a segment that aired, honey, in February of 2017. They said she left the show the following year when she moved to CBS and Gail King's morning show. But Singh's relationship with Holmes was um, lost no moment. It lost no momentum, and they're saying that the couple was still going strong, baby, back in 2019. Well, Miss Robrock now scrubbed Instagram accounts, featured numerous pictures of her with Singh, honey. She took them pictures down, baby. She said, I will pay. You could do that. She paid, baby, to have no pictures taken down with her and Miss Singh, honey. Because, like I said, they were definitely good girlfriends, honey. And she had to take it out because she wanted people to see how much of a tramp she was. But nevertheless, <laughs> honey, that is a TJ Holmes. TJ doing community service. Yeah, TJ Holmes, he, he, may, be, he may be half but cute, but, honey, he is not all that. Apparently he is. No, well. he's not. These are lonely women. They married to Caucasian men, and they think, I guess, TJ looked like he half mixed, <laughs> that he could probably um, do a little bit more. But, No. I feel so Man, bad. Man, that's but I, crazy. That, that is, is crazy. beyond crazy. That and they said crazy. they want them fired, yeah, it, but they it, said they it. can't fire them. If you do all that, man, that's your way out the door. But uh, he must have a tight contract or something. Yeah, yeah you guys. Oh, no, Rick, they're going to play him out. They're going to let him stay there, baby. They're going to let him stay for a little while, honey. Then they're going to say, honey, it's a big layoff, honey. And that's when they're going to give him some right on out there. And, honey, his wife, Miss Mary, they're going to probably take him back like a fool, honey. She'll be crazy to take him they back, gonna honey. They're going to figure out how to get him out of there because it's bringing yes. bad press to GMA. It's sure doggone this. And some white man said, this is a family show. And See? this man here acting like that, so yeah. honey. And he black too. They huh? trying to get him on up out of there. <laughs> they gonna remind him, honey. Okay. They gonna remind him. TJ, you light skin, baby, but you're still of African descent. Hello, hello, that, that part. Hello. So he gonna get reminded, but nevertheless, <laughs> <laughs> let's keep our parties lifted up in prayer, honey. <laughs> TJ, I mean, I don't believe it. Hey, what, Brett? Hello, hello, <laughs> hello, okay. hello. Mm-hmm. TJ, is that you? <laughs> I see you hiding over there. But anyway, child, we're going to keep poor Miss Mary Lee lifted up in prayer. I like Mary Lee, and I don't even Who's know her, honey. Who's that in my it. window? Pow! Mm-hmm. <laughs> the color of the day, now. y'all, honey. It's Bye, mink TJ. coat. <laughs> on the high, you say mink coat. On the low, you say beautiful brown, y'all. That's the color for today. <laughs> uh, y'all give it up for Gary with a T. Hello! <laughs> <laughs>